this week I made an effort to study the word and I realized how out of practice I am with looking up scripture because I normally just look at the screen. But I brought my Bible so we can turn together. And I was also excited to just have the opportunity to study the word because it says to study to show yourself approved. And that's in 2 Timothy 2.15. Study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So we want to make an effort and be diligent and earnest. And it helps us have a renewed mind, which is also important. We want to show ourselves approved and acceptable. So we should meditate on the scriptures because when the pressures of life squeeze you like a tube of toothpaste, you want blessing to come out. You want God's word to come out. And faith comes by hearing, by hearing by the word of God. So we're going to hear the word of God this morning. So let's just increase our faith um, with listening hearts. And I wanted to tell you guys about a couple of months ago, Anyway, I was just emotional driving down the road. I was almost home. And I sort of just yelled out at God, who cares that you love me? Who cares that you're for me? You're with me because I still feel all of this hurt and pain. But since I've repented, I would just want you guys to know that it matters that he loves us. Yeah. It matters that he's for us and with us. Um, because if God's for us, for us, who can be against us? So Romans 8.31, what shall we then say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Um, does anybody remember when I was up here last, what I spoke about? <laughs> rest for the saints, rest for the saints, how we should pursue peace and rest. About a month ago, knowing this date was coming, I knew in my heart that I wanted to talk about love. But I also shared a little bit about confessing the word and positive confessions because, and I think I have some of the scriptures too, but out of the heart the mouth speaks. Um, what you think on is what you eventually say, and life and death are in the power of the tongue. And so it's important to just say I'm highly favored, I'm blessed, and not go around and say in, I never win, or I'm always sick, um, because you're going to keep having that. You have what you say. But instead, just say, I get the best parking spots everywhere I go. And so <clears throat> I want us to confess the word together. And I think I do actually have enough copies. Um, I don't know what version this is. I think it's just written in a way that makes it personal. One, two. I pray, Father, that you, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, will grant me a spirit of wisdom and revelation of insight into mysteries and secrets in the deep and intimate knowledge of you by having the eyes of my heart flooded with light so that I can know and understand the hope to which you have called me and how rich is your glorious inheritance in the saints, your set-apart ones. And so that I may know and understand what is the immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness of your power in and for me who believes and demonstrated in the working of your mighty strength, which you, Father, exerted in Christ when you raised him from the dead and seated him at your own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named, above every title that can be conferred, not only in this age and in this world, but also in the age and in the world which are to come. And you, Father, have put all things under his feet and have appointed him the universal and supreme head of the church, a headship exercised throughout the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. For in that body lives the full measure of him who makes everything complete and who fills everything everywhere with himself. 
and the next one. For this reason, seeing the greatness of this plan by which I am built together in Christ, I bow my knees before you, Father, the Father of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that Father from whom all fatherhood takes its title and derives its name, may you grant me out of the rich treasury of your glory to be strengthened and reinforced with mighty power in the inner man by the Holy Spirit himself indwelling my innermost being and personality. May Christ through my faith actually dwell, settle down, abide, and make his permanent home in my heart. May I be rooted deep in love and founded securely on love, that I may have the power and be strong to apprehend and grasp with all the saints, your devoted people, the experience of that love, what is the breadth and length and height and depth of it, that I may really come to know practically through experience for myself the love of Christ, which far surpasses mere knowledge without experience, and that I may be filled through all my being into the fullness of you, Father, that I may have the richest measure of the divine presence and become a body wholly filled and flooded with you yourself. Now to you, Father, who by in consequence of the action of your power that is at work within me, is able to carry out your purpose and do super abundantly, far over and above, all that I dare ask or think, infinitely beyond my highest prayers, desires, thoughts, hopes, or dreams. To you, Father, be glory in the church and Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. So be it. Yay. Last month, knowing this day it was coming, I, was gonna, I knew I was going to talk about love, and I was going to try to make this extra commitment to walk in love with those around me, especially those really close to me um, that kind of get to see <laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly, or me at my not best self. Oh, and by the way, I was going to tell you, I'm not an expert on walking in love, so this message is for me, too. But there were just moments where God would remind me what would love do in this situation, and then I would act accordingly. And I think the message on love is important because everything that we do as Christians should operate out of love. So who do we walk in love with? Who do we walk in love with one another? Yeah, people. And the heartbeat of God is nations, it is people. And sometimes we're around difficult people and it's hard to walk in love sometimes, but earlier I think we said that we're the ones responsible for our attitude and our actions. So if offenses come, it's it's good to let it roll off you like water off a duck's, duck's back. It's not always easy to do. But I really do want to make an effort to connect with people and not be so shy or fearful because there's no fear in love, right? And perfect love casts out fear. So if I am afraid in a situation, like speaking in front of adults and peers and elders, I would just say, <laughs> perfect love casts out fear. So, there's no fear in love is 1 John 4, 18, and perfect love casts out fear is also in John, I think I put down 1 John 4, 7, 8, 18, and 19, verse 7, beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loves is born of God and knows God. He that loves not knows God, for God is love. And then verse 18, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear because fear has torment. He that fears is not made perfect in love, and we love him because he first loved us. But instead of just kind of, I can kind of be in my own mind sometimes and have tunnel vision and just think about what I've got to get done, but I really want to be aware of needs around me. I also know that I can't say yes to every single need that I see, so I have to follow peace um, and be sensitive to the Holy Spirit's leading. But since we're talking about love, the love chapter, which is... 1 Corinthians 13. Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> Let me find it. First Corinthians thirteen. I actually want to look at verse thirteen. Which says, And now abides faith, hope, and love, but the greatest is love. Um, and then also in Hebrews eleven six, it, without faith it is impossible to please God. So without love it's impossible to please God. And we're not under the law, but part of the new covenant, our only commandment is to love. So thank God we serve the God of love. Repeat after me. I am love governed. I'm a love child of a love God. Um, also, the Bible says that love covers a multitude of sin in 1 Peter 4.8. Oh, I had some a few versions of this. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers a multitude of sins. Most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other. Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, and above all, love one another deeply, because love covers a multitude of sins. So I'm not saying to just go out and sin, but we all fall short. We all mess up. So if that happens, it's important as Christians to not walk around in fear and shame and inferiority and condemnation. So I looked up condemnation in the concordance. And there were five different ones, and it was all New Testament. The first, I just want to talk about two of them. And the first one is John 5, 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that hears my word and believes on him that sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death into life. And condemnation there means accusation and judgment. And then the second one is James 5, 12. But above all things, my brethren, swear not neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other oath, but let your yes be yes and your no be no, lest you fall into condemnation. And there, that means hypocrisy or false virtue. Hypocrisy, hypocrisy means claiming to have moral standards that you do not have or your behavior does not conform to. So we... Obviously, want to avoid false virtue and have um, have true virtue and good virtue, and think to help us to think on the good things which are in Philippians four eight. Um, finally, <laughs> brethren, whatsoever things are true, what are, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. <clears throat> it goes back to if you're always thinking negatively and then you're going to talk negative, but we want to think on good things. The Bible also talks about love concerning children in Proverbs 13:24. Proverbs 13:24. He that spares his rod hates his son, but he that loves him chastise him at the times or I have up here English standard whoever spares the rod hates his son but he who loves him is diligent to discipline him and the good news translation if you don't punish your children you don't love them if you do love them you will correct them so when sometimes I'll want to help Emily brush her hair and dry it so I'll sit on like the top of the toilet seat and I'll have her sit on the stool in front of me but we were in the bathroom, I was, was going to help her with her hair, and she went to spit her gum out in the, the bathroom trash can, which didn't have a bag in it, and I just emptied it. So before she went all the way to spit it out, I said, go spit that in the kitchen trash can. She still leaned down like she was going to continue to do what she wanted, and so anyway, I spanked her. And then I gave her a minute to calm down. She went in the bathroom and shut the door. So a couple minutes later, I came up to the bathroom and then sat and locked it. And when I went to dry her hair, instead of sitting on the stool in front of me, she sat on my lap. And I was like, I just spanked her, and now she's sitting on my lap. But um, it really is important to discipline children and train them up in the way they should go so when they're older, they will not depart. 
So I'm relying on God to help me. I just had a few, four more I wrote down about love. You can write them down. I'm not going to turn to it. John 15, 13, no greater love than someone that lays down your life for your friend. 1 Corinthians 13, 2, by faith we can move mountains, but without love we are nothing. Ephesians 4, 15, speak the truth in love. And Mark 12 and 31, love God with all your heart and love your neighbor as yourself. And that is really all that I have prepared. Jubilee, this is the year of Jubilee. Lame now walk, blind now see, this is the year of Jubilee.